Hey guys, welcome to another video. I have a nice fall Bath and Body Works haul for you guys. I went back to the store today just to check to see if they had anything new, and they did. They had some of the uh, fall bakery collection that um, has been advertised, and some of the floral, fall floral collection that's been advertised. Uh, I don't know the specific names for them, but yeah, let's get started. So, from this collection, the floral collection, there's Lavender in Bloom, Golden Sunflower, and Apple, Champagne Apple and Honey, and I believe there's one or two more in this collection. I do not remember, but yes. So, they didn't have all of the fragrance mists out yet. I don't know if they even had them yet. And they didn't have all of the creams yet. And I don't think my store had any of the lotions yet for this collection. And this shower gel. So, yeah, hopefully they come out with the rest of this collection soon. That would be great. Um... Uh, I really like the packaging on the creams. That's very cute. Uh, the shower gels are very cute, too. They have, like, gold foil and then, like, the flowers on the inside. Uh, the fragrance mists are kind of boring. <laughs> um, they have a little bit in the background, but you can't even really see it on the lavender one. Yeah, it just looks like purple. So, unfortunately, these were only three for two as well, which kind of sucks. Hopefully they do, like, a six or a seven dollar sale that'd be great okay so champagne apple and honey that pretty much always comes out every year these two are new fragrances here's the scent notes for this one it's just like a nice bright apple with the champagne notes uh it's not very sugary it's more like a, a juicy apple lavender and bloom we have this and let's see. Hmm. Yes, it's kind of like, um, it almost has like the watery notes in it because of the floral and the uh, driftwood smell. So yeah, it's like a light middle ground floral. It's not fruity. It's not even super lavender. It's just got like a hint of lavender in it. So it doesn't really smell like any of their other lavenders they have. Or any of the lavenders from the aromatherapy collection. It's definitely almost got like summery water notes to it. It's not as heavy as a lavender or heavy floral as it looks like it would be. Um, so golden sunflower. Here's the scent notes on this one. This one is probably my favorite out of this collection so far. Um, it is it's a heavy floral though. <laughs> um, it almost slightly smells like the uh, Country Chic from Bath and Body Works, but it's definitely not as fruity and it's very, very floral and it's a heavy floral. You do smell that orange in it a little bit. So it does have the, uh, the vanilla and the orange, but you smell the floral right up front. So it's a definitely heavy floral, but it's really nice. I'm not usually a fan of heavy florals, but this one works in my opinion. So yeah, there's this collection. Like I said, hopefully they come out with the rest of it soon. Ugh. Okay, and then my favorites are this collection. And unfortunately, they didn't have all of this collection either, which is a bummer. And I didn't see any Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin yet, either. So these are the body creams I got. We have the Sugar Cherry Crisp from Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte, which comes out every year. Vanilla Mocha Cafe and Sparkling Plum. And in this collection, there's also the, uh, the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. And the Strawberry Pound Cake is coming back again. But uh, if you like the Strawberry Pound Cake... I would probably hold off getting it in this packaging because right now it's still 75% off from the spring collection. 
so I would get that. <laughs> um, so yeah, I got that, and then this one. So yeah, they didn't have all of them in this collection, so I'll definitely be going back. And then got two lotions and two of the shower gels. Um, out of this collection, the cherry is definitely my favorite. I can't wait till the rest of it comes out. Um, yeah. So, let's see if I can get... Does this have the scent notes on it? Uh, no. That's more. Okay, well, this one is just strawberry pound cake. I'm sure most of you smelled it from the spring collection. It's just like a sweet strawberry cakey smell. And then we have the sugared cherry crisp. And these are the scent notes. This one is amazing. <laughs> it's such like a super bright, juicy cherry, but it has those really warm, sugary notes in it with the gram smell. It is so good. So good. Um, it doesn't smell like any of the other cherries that I have. Um, I know Victoria's Secret came out with like a cherry fall one last year. Um, it's way different than that. I would definitely get this one. Out of any of them, this one is definitely the best. <laughs> um, so then we have the marshmallow pumpkin latte, which is pretty self-explanatory. You got your pumpkin, you got your marshmallow, you got your coffee smell. Um, vanilla mocha cafe. Here's the notes on this one. This one is very nice too. Um, it's different from... Hmm, it's definitely different from the... Um, the vanilla sugary mocha one that came out in the 2D Dolce collection a few years ago. It's definitely more coffee smelling than that. And the vanilla isn't a super sugary vanilla because you got like the sugary coffee notes. It's vanilla orchid, so it's it's like a floral vanilla. It's different. It does, doesn't smell like the 2D Dolce one or anything I have. It's very nice. Um, so then we have the sparkling plum. There's the scent notes for this one. This one is also very good. Mm, yes, it's like a very bright, super juicy mixed berry smell with the plum, the blackberry, the citrus. The citrus really rounds it out, gives it like some bright notes to it. Um, it definitely doesn't smell like any of the other berries I have. Um, it doesn't smell like the, um, the raspberry or the blackberry that came out last year either. It's definitely different and yeah um also a heads up if you guys are buying a bunch in the same collection like I did make sure you guys first of all smell different bottles of the same fragrance um, sometimes you get duds the spritzer doesn't work um, sometimes the batch is funny and they smell kind of alcoholy a little bit. Same with the body creams. And then if there's a fragrance that you like, for instance, like the vanilla mocha, but it smells a little bit off to you, try it in a different form, like the lotion or the mist or the shower gel, because, you know, there's so many different notes. You got your, your high notes, your middle notes, your base notes, and those all show up differently in the different forms like uh with your creams and lotions you usually get the base notes that show up more like your deeper notes whereas in your uh your fragrance mist the top notes the brighter notes come out more so even though they're the same fragrance they might smell a little bit different to you so always make sure you smell all of them all the different forms in the collection so yeah thank you for watching and i will see you guys next time